I joined the BBC in 1966 um, and worked my way up through this, the, the ranks uh, till 1980, 81. And I was given the director's, well I begged for it, I fought hard to get the director's schools. Um, and eventually the head of drama, um, who was the one who was going to give permission, uh, uh, finally said, you've done it, I'm going to send you off on the course. Um, and then it took a year uh, while I still continued being a first assistant as staff member, um, it took a year for me to send all my tapes out of, from the course to get um, some happy producer to give me a, a chance. Julia Smith was the one. She was producing a series called um, Angels. It was set in a hospital in, in South London. Um, and so I, I started my career as a director on, on, on Angels. You, you had to, as a director, as a young director, you, starting your life uh, in that world of directing, you needed to um, make friends and, and influence producers. Producers were the people who chose, with the agreement of the head of drama, um, if they would choose who they wanted uh, to do the various episodes of whatever series they were doing. I was in, although I was, I eventually went freelance as a director, I was mostly employed by Serial's department. Uh, the BBC in those days, in the 1980s, was a drama department was uh, split into three departments. Plays and films, um, series like uh, uh, Holby and uh, um, A Casualty, um, and serials where you do Ivanhoe and so six parts and eight parts, but they also did soap operas serials. So that's uh, that's where I kind of got my breaks. John Nathan Turner and I, uh, we must be the same age. Well, look, we're not the same age now, unfortunately, because he's gone. But um, he, we were very good friends, um, colleagues, not uh, coming up through the ranks at the BBC um, in drama department. Um, and I went into directing, and he went into producing. That was that's how that's where he wanted to be, and I, and he was good. He was a great producer. Um, stayed in Doctor Who, I think, too long. Not his choice. I think he was desperate to move on and do. He was a great entrepreneur, and um, should have been doing musicals and, and variety. He was. That's where his big uh, big moments would have come. Um, uh, but he had huge success with Doctor Who. I I just think. Uh, he, I think 10 years is too long for anybody to be a producer of a series, that just seems to be uh, silly. Um, and he was great, he should have been given other opportunities. But I, right, how did I, so what happened was I said to John Nathan Turner, um, I know it'll be a few years before you consider me, but I'd love to do a Doctor Who sometime, in, uh, you know, somewhere in my, the reason was that I love action adventure. Um, that was one of the few series being made by the BBC that I might get a chance on. Um, and eventually, John, and eventually, was in two year, within two years of me directing, starting directing, he offered me um, Caves of Androzani. I, what, what a fantastic gift. I didn't know it was going to be that good a story when I first joined uh, Doctor Who, um, but it was just f the most brilliant script, and uh, I, I had a great uh, opportunity to try and do something special with it. That was by luck, the special, but uh, but something great came out of it. It was a combination of all sorts of things that made that such a smashing thing for me to start uh, Doctor Who on. Uh, I think the way the BBC works now is totally different, but in, there was there was a character. Uh, the BBC had a character. It was called Auntie for all sorts of good, re good and bad reasons, but mainly good. Um, it, 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 sort of nanny state within the BBC. You had so much protection and... Um, uh, um, health and safety, uh, I mean it's gone mad now I think health and safety issues but, but it was very very careful in how it allowed its staff to work and protected it from uh, it, themselves as it were. Um, so you had a great organisation uh, but that then gave it a, a, a character. Um, it was good to know how the BBC system worked and I come up from a, a, as a runner through to system floor manager and first assistant so I knew um, I knew certain ways to get shortcuts to get to wherever we need to be and also to to swing favours with people to get things uh, on the day desperate from props department etc where normally someone would say oh we've got to put something in triplicate before you can get that three, three weeks ago I knew people and I could get the stuff in if we suddenly needed a prop you know a director I was working with needed something special I did know how to go about getting that very quickly within the time uh, occasionally.